Omakyam, when you give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Raka Kodesh, Yabba honest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akim, Spring, Truth, and Sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to talk about a, a very small dream that I had last night, and it was concerning zombies in the streets, you know, because I don't know where I was, but you know, all that I could see around me were basically zombies. You know, what do those zombies represent? You know, those zombies represent the people that are without the knowledge, with an understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because it says in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know, if you don't have this knowledge, with an understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're basically a dead man walking. You know. This is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord Jehovah was upon me, and carried me out of the spirit of the Lord Jehovah, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And this valley represents America. You know, and these bones, you know, they represent the whole house of the nation of Israel. The so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, but also those that were scattered among the heathen nations, that might look like heathen nations, but his lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob according to the father's seed line. You see? And the reason that they're being referred to as bones is because there was no, you know, there was no knowledge with an understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yashai in them, you know. Verse 2 And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord Jehovah, thou knowest. Thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord Jehovah. What is the word of the Lord Jehovah? Well, those are the words that are contained in the Holy Bible. You know? Verse 5, Thus said the Lord Jehovah power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And what is that breath talking about? You know, this is the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goes through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no default thing fall into her. So the breath, you know, is referring to the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, so the Most High says in Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven, verse five: "Thus said the Lord Jehovah, power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath, which refers to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Scriptures, to enter into you, and ye shall live." So this shows you that having the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai makes you alive. You know, verse six: "And I will lay sinews upon you." And will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Jehovah. You see, and you know all this started, you know, with Yahweh Shai, of course, because he was able to open the the complete knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. But before the second coming of Yahweh Shai, there will be a falling away first. Which means that we would lose the fact that we are the Israelites. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. But also those that were scattered among the heathen nations. That might look like heathen nations. But the lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob according to their father's seed line. You know, we would lose the fact that we were the Israelites. The chosen people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Abba Bivens, he was able to break down Deuteronomy chapter 28. You know, to explain upon who those curses were bestowed upon by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, for transgressing his law, statutes, and commandments. You know, he broke that down. You know, and right now in 2021, you know, the elder apostles of Great Millstone are still going hard for this truth. You know, starting off with elder apostle Tahar on down. You know, the knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. 
you know, is, is basically being put forth all around the four corners of the earth, you know. This is uh, John chapter 6, verse 63. It is a spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see? So the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, are being referred to as the spirit and they are life. But it also said that it is the spirit that quickeneth. It, the spirit makes a life. So the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is what makes you alive. You know, it brings you back to your remembrance of who you are. You know, it tells you also about, you know, future things to come to pass, you know. Because all the zombies in the street, you know, that were in my dream, they were dead men walking. They had no knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh They had no clue, of, hey, these people all around us, they have no clue what's going on upon the earth. They have no clue, you know, how close we are to the second coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, their brain, their brain dead people, you know. You see? This is something that I want to bring out in this lesson because the majority of the world, you know, are just zombies walking dead. You know, they show, they show, they show sign of life, but in actuality, they're dead people walking. You know, so the series and the movies concerning zombies, you know, are actually, uh, you know, actually the truth, because these people have no clue what's going on. You know. They're just walking around, you know, without any any goal in life, you know, no clue what's going on around them, you know, just living day by day and things like that, you know, but, you know, in these latter days, the most dies are waking up our people and bringing them back to life, you know, reviving them from that zombie state, you know, and bringing them back to their, you know, normal fleshly body, you know. Giving them the giving them the uh, the skin, the sinews, you know, and cover them, you know, with the flesh. And so eventually, that they, that our people would live, and that we would know that the Lord Jehovah Bashem Shai, you know, is our power, you know, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know that He's not dealing with all these other nations, you know, because that, that that's a misconception. That's. Uh, is basically being put forth by these uh, Christian denominations that the Messiah came for everybody. You know, the Messiah, whose name is Shahabushai, he did not come for everybody. He only came for the Israelites. You see. So, um, you know, Lord willing, you know, this video is edifying, and I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodesh, the bonds to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And shalom to the sincere Akiyam's Spanish tube is the thirty. Shalom.